Welcome back, everyone. A Southington teen on the global stage. Some very well-deserved recognition coming for Luca Riccio. He recently won an award in Barcelona for his invention. It's called the Tube Talker. And now there is this world meeting, this convention coming up. So he's here this morning. He's brought his invention along to tell us all about it. Good morning to you. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, congratulations. Thank you. So much well-deserved success and, and accolades that have come to you. And this is this is fantastic. I can't wait to share this with the audience. So can you introduce us to the Tube Talker and how this all works? So this is the Tube Talker. Um, well, this is a standard CPAP oxygen mask, and this device is actually the Tube Talker. Uh, its purpose is to allow CPAP and um, oxygen mask patients to be able to communicate with their doctors, um, family members, things like that, without having to go through the struggle of removing the mask and things like that. Mm -hmm. um, because if you've ever seen anyone or had experience wearing an oxygen mask, it's extremely difficult to sure. talk to people when you're wearing it. And, and communication is so important, especially with individuals oh, that yes. are dealing with something like this. I, I saw this and I'm thinking, how did this young man come up with this idea? But there is a story here. Yeah. Your grandmother's um, memory kind of lives on with so, the tube talker. Yeah, in 2015, my grandmother was in the hospital and she had to wear an oxygen mask. And when she was wearing it, it was really difficult for her to talk to her doctors. I'm sure. Um, yeah, and it was a little sad to see her so frustrated like that. So I began to look into a solution that would allow her to talk wearing the mask. And how did you get to this point? You just kind of, the wheel started turning and you're thinking, I need to create something. Yeah, I just, I saw this. the problem and I, I wanted to find a solution. And it was pretty convenient because at the time there was a middle school invention convention mm. coming up. So I entered the idea as that. And then I went to the state and national convention um, and then Barcelona a few weeks ago. And it's, it's um, grown more than I would have imagined. I bet. Tell us about Barcelona. What happened there and, and the award uh, that you received? So there were three top awards. I won one of them, which was the audience vote. And it was basically an international convention with students from uh, the European Union. Um, I was the student from America. Wow. Yeah, and it was, it was a really cool experience seeing all the different students from different countries and getting to interact with them. So one of the top three prizes awarded yeah. on such a, a, a vast stage. What's next for you? Um, Where's this going? So hopefully it'll be on the market soon. Yeah. Um, the last step would be to fix just this one minor detail in the last prototype. Okay. Um, yeah, and then it should be finalized. Now as part of winning this award in Barcelona, your next stop is going to be Vienna. Yeah, um, next, next October. Next October. Mm -hmm. What's happening there? It's the Peter Drucker, Peter Drucker um, like meeting, and um, it's a annual world convention, um, and I get to attend that in Vienna. So that is so exciting. Yeah. What is the, what has been your family's reaction? Your friends, your teachers. What are their thoughts on on you creating something like this? Um, they're they are pretty excited about it. I bet. Um, yeah, it's always a nice topic of conversation. So You should be so proud. This Thank is you. this is so exciting. What are your career plans down the road? Um, I'm just trying to get through college right now. Yeah. But um, I, I would love to continue this further and I've actually been looking into studying engineering when I go to college. I'm not surprised to hear that. Is, do you consider yourself an inventor? Are you the type of person that is always looking to, you know, improve upon things, create new things? Um, I, I guess you could say that because I, I just like to find solutions to problems that I see. Have you received support in school from, from teachers or other individuals? Oh, yes. That have um, really yeah, there have been a few teachers that have been willing to help me practice presentations or um, fix prototypes, things like that. Wonderful. Well, congratulations to you. Thank you. I can tell you I'm very proud of you, and I'm sure your family and friends are as well. So thank, thank you. you for joining us this morning.